Hey guys, thank you for joining another episode of Mukbang with your host, Dong Diggity. Today we're gonna eat some um, just homemade dinner. This is kimchi stew, kimchi jjigae, kenanmari, egg, well, Korean egg roll, just saute broccoli, and some bomb spam with some lemonade, sparkling lemonade. Ew. So I don't know if you guys know what kimchi is. Kimchi is like basically a ca fermented cabbage. Oh, where it's fermented with lactic acid bacteria. And that's why it tastes that sourness and yeah. Ah, uh, Korean people make everything with that. They love that. Mmm. 잘 먹겠습니다. There's unlimited thing you can make with it. Literally, you can make like pancake, pasta, soup, just everything with kimchi. And it's actually good for you. So some people might think like it's over, only like 100 years old, whatever, but it goes back to like way back then I can count. Not like Jurassic era, but when they were like king and stuff. But it used to be like not spicy. It's not until when I guess during when Japan took over Korea. That's when the red grounded pepper was introduced. I actually did a project on it, on kimchi during my freshman in college. But literally, my point was that probably somebody, since like they didn't have a fridge at the time, decided to dig a hole, put some cabbage in a safe place, but forgot about it. But they didn't want to afford to lose all their cabbage, so they decided to eat it, and it was amazing. And I, I don't know. That was my honest opinion of what, how it might happen. Like, I wouldn't be thinking, oh, how should I create something by fermenting it? I don't know. Kimchi. I love eating a meal after a nice workout. Because you don't feel as guilty.
So, um, I don't know if you guys watch Kimmy's channel. I don't know if she even talked about it, but Kimmy got a new um, aquarium. It's a salt water tank. I literally just thought it's something you just put water, add some salt, like whatever chemical, and grow a fish, but I guess it's not. We have to buy the sand, we have to buy the water. I it just, I was so shocked. I can't believe I bought a salt water. I think we pay about like 40 something for uh, 10 gallons of salt water. And we bought a freaking rock. We pay for a rock. Never done that in my life. Thank you, Kimi. With one of the fellow like students, he wasn't my friend, but he. Went to this after school like English class. And before that we were just like playing with fire. I don't know why. Playing with fire was so fun, burning stuff, like little things. Not a live thing, but uh leaves and stuff like that. We're just burning things around. But when he bent down, I accidentally lighted his hair. I never knew hair would catch on fire that fast. Just whoa! And obviously, first thing I do is take my pants off and so try to piss it off. But he started crying and then swearing at me, saying, what the F are you doing? And then he ran down to the little lake and then put his head in there. I mean, little river that we had. Yeah, so I have a very weird childhood, I think. I was, I guess I was into pissing on people. And imitating dark stuff. Pretty messed up. Man, it's getting darker so fast, like, literally, like, a month ago, by this time, which is, like, 7 something p.m., sun will be bright, so I wouldn't even using a light, but now it's just dark. And probably another month, I will never get to see a sun, because... By the time I go to work, it will be dark before the sun comes up. And then when I come back out from work, the sun will be down. Without sunlight, I'll be depressed. Hmm. Okay. That's good. Okay. Come here, Koopy. I'll introduce you to. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a, to a Cooper. I'm his cousin. Cooper, tell goodbye. He's my brother's uh baby. Um, we're 
dog watching for him while he's hanging out. Which soon I will reveal. Oh, your brother? Yeah, my brother. He's a derp, just like him. Hi, derpy! Hmm? Mm -mm. But yeah, that was uh, another member of our family. But I will introduce you guys to my brother. Who is kind of derpy like him. For my baby. Mm -hmm. Ahmed's been getting so jealous. I do feel bad, but I rather kind of teach him now. Cause it just doesn't look good when he seems so selfish. So I realized that um, one thing I do is that when I buy stuff like this, all this whatever collectible I tend to just hold it in the closet usually or like here and never wear it like special ones I was just leaving the closet and then Kimmy always yells at me and I just had a epiphany during work I'm like it's not like later on like I'm trying to make profit off of it or anything like I bought it because it, I liked it I wanted it but now I'm not even wearing it so I just decided to never buy, or like, at least try to stop buying all this crazy hype stuff, hype brand. I'm just, um, I don't know. I'm just not too into it anymore and stuff, so I think I'm gonna try to... Well, I've been already selling some shoes. But yeah, I'm just gonna sell it all. Not gonna buy anything. Or, I mean, not gonna buy any high brands. And just be happy. Mm hmm. 